China's biggest annual political event, the National People's Congress, came to an end Wednesday with Premier Li Keqiang's once-a-year press conference. At the opening of the meeting, Mr. Li had set this year's growth target of 6.5% to 7%. The big question now was, how can China meet that goal while also restructuring its economy? Mr. Li said the two goals aren't mutually exclusive. Here are some other highlights from the meeting. Number one, tax cuts. As exports slow, the Chinese government is now looking to businesses to help drive growth. So it hopes to reduce taxes and debt loads for companies, leaving firms with more money to invest. Authorities say a new tax system would save Chinese companies more than $76 billion this year. Number two, charity law. China lags behind other countries when it comes to philanthropy. To encourage giving among the many who have become rich during China's economic boom, it passed its first ever charity law. The law seeks to make it easier for charities to register and raise funds and to give individual and corporate donors more tax breaks. Civil society has faced tighter restrictions under Xi Jinping, but Beijing also recognizes the value of charities for needs such as disability care where the government's resources are stretched. Number three, how to trim bloated state firms. Beijing plans to lay off about 1.8 million steel and coal workers over the next five years. Part of the plan to rely more on growth from other parts of the economy, such as services. But leaders are trying to avoid the pain of more drastic layoffs. Their concern is that massive job losses could lead to instability. Workers staged large protests last week in China's northernmost province, Heilongjiang. This came after the local governor said the state-owned coal company where they had worked didn't owe them wages. Despite big economic challenges, Mr. Li said there is no reason to lose hope. There are more bright spots in the economy than difficulties, he said. His main message is China's parliament wrapped up this year. China can reform and meet its growth targets at the same time. We 